significant figures are digits that represent actual measurements. And today I'm going to show you a um, quick and easy way to determine significant figures. Um, this is called the box and dot method, and we're using dot instead of decimal point to make it easier to remember. With the box and dot method, we're going to look at a number. And we're going to begin with the leftmost non-zero digit and draw a box around all of the non-zero digits all the way to the rightmost non-zero digit. So we start here on the left, draw my box all the way to the right. If there is a dot or a decimal, plate or decimal point present, then we're going to box the end zeros. And at this point, all of the zeros within the box are considered significant. So we can count them up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This number would have eight significant digits or significant figures. Leading zeros are never significant anyways, and so as long as we're starting with the leftmost non-zero digit and drawing our box all the way to the right, um, that will include everything, including trapped zeros or sandwich zeros. All of those will be significant. And again, if there is a dot, we draw a box around the trailing zeros. Those are also significant. Okay, now we're going to look at some different examples and test the box and dot method. With this example, we're going to begin with the leftmost non-zero digit, which would be here, and we're going to draw our box all the way to the rightmost non-zero digit. And everything within that box will be significant, including any trapped or sandwiched zeros. If there is a dot or a decimal place present, then we're going to box all of the right side zeros, everything to the right of the box that we've already drawn, or trailing zeros. And then everything now within these boxes will be considered significant. So this number would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight significant digits. If we look at another example, Again, I'm going to begin with boxing the leftmost non-zero digit and including everything to the rightmost non-zero digit, all within the box. There is no dot, there is no decimal place present, and so I'm not going to box the end zeros. They would not be considered significant. And so this number would have four significant digits. For my next example, Again, I'm going to begin with my leftmost non-zero digit, which would be this digit right here. And then I'm going to include in the box everything to the rightmost non-zero digit. I do see a dot, I see a decimal place, and so I'm going to box the trailing zero. And so this value will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven significant digits. Let's look at a number that's in scientific notation. We can still use the box and dot method with scientific notation numbers. We still box the leftmost non-zero digit all the way to the rightmost non-zero digit. If there is a dot, then we still box the trailing zero, the zero all the way to the right, or zeros all the way to the right. There is a decimal, there is a dot, so we're going to box the leftmost zero, so that will also be included. So this number would contain four significant digits. We're going to look at two more examples just to clarify a little bit about the trailing zeros. So in this example, we're still going to use our box and dot. We're still going to box the leftmost non-zero digit all the way to the rightmost non-zero digit. In this case, it's only one digit. And then we're going to say, well, is there a dot present? Well, yeah, the dot's there. It didn't quite, we didn't quite make it yet with the box, but we're still going to box all of the trailing zeros. So as long as you see that decimal, that dot, we still box all of the trailing zeros. So this number would contain one, two, three, four, five, six significant digits. And we can also use this when we think about a number in scientific notation as well. We're still going to use the um, box. We're going to box the leftmost non-zero digit all the way to the rightmost non-zero digit. In this case, that would only be the three. There is a dot, even though it occurs after the box, that doesn't bother anything. And so because there is that dot, we still box all of the trailing zeros. 
And so this number would have one, two, three, four significant figures.